Hello and welcome to the shop. I'm going to make another classic elite fountain pen. And this time I'm going to turn it in acrylic. The first thing to do is to drill out the blank. I've left it entirely intact. Marks are cut onto it to see where the blank goes to. Bottom blank, top blank. I'm going to drill right into this now and make sure I get it in the right place. Okay, we're now well inside this blank, so I'm now going to unchuck it, cut it and then drill the other second portion. And I'm going to do this off camera. So here we are with the bottom half of the pen blank in now, and we're going to continue drilling. So we're now going to drill the second part of the blank. I've now cut it in half. So there's the first part all nicely done. So we're going to carry on with the second part now. Quite a bit of smoke coming off of this, so just letting it cool down a bit. big diameter of the drill so obviously the outer edges spin rapidly not very far to go now I've got a mark on the drill that shows me the depth I want to go to I'm now going to chop off this bit off camera. So we've got both blanks glued up. Um, they've got to dry off now. I've used medium CA on them and I'm going to let them uh, really go off now for the next couple of hours. So, see you in a few hours. <clears throat> so here we have the blank chopped up, ready to go.
Now the fun part, a one eighth of an inch on the bushing. No more than that. Good. So here we go, we got the blank on, the is all nicely cleaned up. We're going to start going through our micro mesh grits. And uh, I'm just going to look at this first. Uh, I think what I'm going to do first is try some wet and dry. Okay, we've already got a really super finish. That is beautiful, like glass. I haven't finished there yet though, I am going to put some of this on. It's an acrylic paste, and I always think it makes it just look that little bit better. Okay, here we have the um, classic Elite pen laid out in front of us, and uh, we've got the pen nibble assembly, we've got an O-ring, we've got the ring coupler, bottom blank, um, that is a coupler, O-ring, and then we've got the lower cap center band upper blank and the assembly for the clip okay got the pen press here and where we start off straight away is the lower blank pick up the lower blank pick up the lower assembly and we get those two pressed together OK, 
top assembly. Good. O rigs go on these. And there's a little groove below the teeth. And I normally just put my thumb on the top and just turn it around until it seats. Other side. When you've got big thumbs like me, this is really fiddly sometimes. But we get it on in the end. And again, I just will run my thumbnail around to seat it. So that is the lower assembly. Now this part will now screw into there. This will obviously go in here, but we'll do that in a minute. Now we've got the top part, and this is where this part fits in to a groove in here. So we'll get that done. So fiddly when you're trying to film it at the same time. We'll press it in. Always a little bit of a squeeze this one. Never seems to want to go in straight. So I'll just turn it and do it this way. I suddenly realise the end will come off. I might even realise that. Right. So, oh, let's come off again. Tells me that needs to be glued in. And we keep on turning it until we get it pressed. And that's now pressed. Good. It's obviously around the wrong way. There we go. So that only goes on one way. You learn something new every single day. All right, we're going to put this on. And I think there will be nice. So. Good. Lovely. The inking. This is going to be a gift to my wife. Get that out of the way. And there we have it. I have found with this it makes no difference. You can actually undo it, turn it around and depending where, where you thread it will depend on where it matches up. There you go, it goes around further, take it around a bit more and it goes around further still. So matching this up is actually a waste of time. But there you go, one pen. Turned out really nicely. Well there you have it, one classic elite fountain pen. It's turned out quite nicely. I do like this kit actually, it's a really really nice kit. We enjoyed making it. it, all the fittings are nice, so very very pleased at the way it's turned out. There you go, one classic elite fountain pen. It's turned out quite nicely. If you enjoyed the video, and I hope they're getting better with the lighting and the sound and everything else, but I've got such a confined space. So this is my boom, which is this is on, um, facing the back of the room here. All my tools are off to my right over there. Um, but this is just some storage space behind me. It's really, apart from that or there, there's the only two places that I can go. So I've got the lighting a little bit better. There's still shade and things, all sorts are going on. But uh, 
give a comment tell me what you think follow me on my trials and tribulations i hope you enjoy it thanks for watching